Hi everyone, welcome back to Gabby's side here on YouTube and another building video! <laughs> Who would have thought? So today we are back indeed in Newcrest for another building video uh, for a starter home. We are currently on the Build Newcrest uh, Legacy Challenge and this is the lower, um, lower class neighborhood that I am on. So I've already built one of the starter homes which you can watch it's already up on the channel and this is the second one right next to it right next to the cute little pink house <laughs> that you see a little bit over in the in the corner so yeah this is um a starter home meaning again we had the budget of 20k um again it was challenging for me i don't i can't say it wasn't um i love to have the challenge of starting out with uh, little money but when you have to build a really lovely starter home and you know just leave it as it is it's a bit like oh <laughs> uh, you want to make it as nice as possible so yeah that was always a challenging part so this one i wasn't sure what kind of look i was going for i just knew that i wanted a bay window and that was pretty much it <laughs> so that's kind of how it started but then i found out this nice color scheme between black white and red like black bricks, white accents, and then um, also red red bricks as well, sorry. Um, and then the black and white accents. And I don't know, it just, it looked really nice. Like the home itself looked um, not too traditional. It was almost like a little bit modern. So I feel like the, the person who's going to move in here would have renovated it a little bit or maybe someone before that to, to have it be a little bit more modern looking um so yeah i like that idea that it's not as traditional it's a little bit more updated and i really love the color scheme because i usually don't really go for black and white it's not something that i usually kind of choose but i just thought yeah you know what it's something different let's try it and so i went with it when i was building it as well um what i had in my mind was to actually build this house for one of the kids from the legacy challenge now he's not actually from our generation so to speak he was um our uh, the first generation sims husband's um alien child and uh he he conceived the child when he was abducted into uh into space <laughs> It just sounds so silly even when I'm just saying it <laughs> because it is it was a very silly situation There's no denying that So um, yeah, he got abducted basically and fell pregnant and he wasn't the person that we we're playing with So he's this child is technically not in the generation family But of course we still play with him and stuff like that um, It just added a, a nice sort of change to the normal story that we were going with so it was really cool and his name is gene he's a teenager at the moment but i can definitely see him living here later on so i kind of already furnished it as if he was you know already living here but of course when he moves here i think that would work out well for him so the home itself it's not very well furnished inside like there's a, a bit of furniture but it's really really plain there's not much personality and in the bedroom, there's also actually a listening uh, device, listening station, I think it's called. I don't remember. But it's the, the thing that comes with Stranger Will where you can plant bugs on people. Uh, is it called bugs? I'm, I'm really questioning myself today. I'm sorry. But you guys know what I mean. Like you plant little microphones and then you can go back uh, to your listening device and basically listen in on people. Now, the reason why I chose to go with this is because Jean... I think is struggling a lot with um, his father's death. So uh, the dad who gave birth to him, who was abducted, he has passed away. And um, yeah, I think Gene in himself is really struggling with that. And one of the things, um, one of his aspirations at the moment is to be a public enemy. And I feel like he would go down that route a little bit because, uh, you know, he doesn't know his mom. She's just uh, up, up in space somewhere, you know. <laughs> just doing her own thing she doesn't really care probably and his dad passed away so if for him it's probably a tough time and maybe he's you know hanging around the wrong people or getting the wrong influence and um yeah he's probably gone down that sort of route so i thought that was kind of interesting um his home inside you know it, it's 
yeah it, it's nice like you can see that it's a nice new home but that is just maybe not very well looked after uh, so there's a little bit of a mess on the floor and it's just yeah as i said not really furnished that well and um yeah i don't know i just like the idea of that and that also made sense why maybe the home would be like a starter home because once he moves out he might not have as much money with him and stuff so he just kind of he kind of left the home how it was what it already had inside and um yeah he's probably spending more of his money on like the listening devices and you know things like that so um yeah i i, I just i don't know i thought that was um a fun sort of alternative to just you know moving a family in here and also gave me more freedom with the budget as well so i was glad uh, about that um so it's also a one bedroom sort of home not too big either but you can easily extend this actually where the chimney is uh, that's a nice place to extend out the house and you know even make a second floor for example so a family could easily live in here um in terms for gene i don't know if he would be a sort of family person a family sim um, I don't think that's his priority by any means. He'd probably concentrate more on his career and, you know, just um, dealing with the loss of his dad and um, kind of the the mystery that is his mom. So I feel like there's a lot of things that he can process first before sort of concentrating on family life. So for now, this uh, little place is enough for him. Um, but yeah, so here comes the, the red sort of... Uh, tones in the home i really like this it's such a, a a cool contrast to you know the previous start at home we did which is right there next to it <laughs> which is all cute and uh yeah i don't know it's just a really really nice contrast i like i like that a lot and uh, it gives personality to the home uh, it definitely does and you know I, in my mind i imagine that because his mom is literally living right next door she would kind of try to keep an eye on him and uh so his bedroom would be like really off zone to everyone like nobody could really go in there because he's keeping you know all his listening device and like a, a records as well and he's got like everything there so yeah i think that's uh, an interesting sort of way to tell his story like he's keeping some secrets from his family and um, dealing with a lot of loss in his life and a lot of confusion and things like that. Um, but yeah, for me, it would be interesting to play him because I, I don't know, I, I rarely make sims that have that aspiration, like, or evil sims. Um, and yeah, I, I don't know, I just never play that way. I always play like really good sims, family oriented, that kind of thing. So now it's you know the, the challenge is kind of forcing me i guess to play different traits and different have different aspirations as well which is really really fun because yeah by myself i would never you know i would never choose that by myself so um it's fun it's i, I love the idea of it and um yeah i've just been enjoying it a lot i really have i i can definitely recommend it if you guys you know are thinking things to do on the sims at the moment um challenges to try this is definitely one that i would recommend i guess if you if you don't enjoy building as much and stuff like that um then maybe it's not as fun but i mean to be honest you could still also just kind of uh you know download lots from the gallery and and kind of make it your your own um so you don't really have to do the building if you don't want to as well but yeah, here we go. So this is the sort of um, basic layout of the home. Again, open floor plan. So you've got the uh, kind of living space uh, where the fireplace is here. And I, I'm again using the eco living furniture. I know, I'm sorry, but it's just, it's just too cute. I can't help it. <laughs> the furniture in eco living is really, really nice. And um, I just enjoy using it. I think it's really, really cute. Um, and I also thought, you know, maybe his mom, I don't know, had like spares of the furniture or maybe he bought the furniture and he gave like one of the armchairs to his mom or something. <laughs> so I was, in my head, that's kind of the idea that I had um, as to why they both have the same furniture, I guess. Um, so yeah, here we are uh, moving on to the kitchen. 
I uh, yeah, I wanted to have this little archway here in the in the entrance, but then it didn't work out with the kitchen space. It just looked really weird. Like you enter the home and the kitchen is literally right there. So I added a little arch uh, just on that side wall, and I think that works much better. Um, yeah, it just makes more sense. But I, I like the little entryway that I've placed here. And I also put little hooks on the wall later. So you can just imagine like people taking off their coat and leaving it there and stuff. And uh, yeah, the bills are on the floor, of course. So, he, you know, just to show like, oh, he's not really... Uh, he doesn't really care as much, I guess, about those things. Um, so yeah, just, that's kind of how I brought his personality into the home. But, you know, like I was saying in the last part, it's, it's a really nice... Um, uh, way as well to make houses have the personality because you know kind of who you are building it for and what kind of storyline you want to go with for that so um yeah i would like I, I would love to see this home be a family home in the future though or um yeah at least kind of more furnished i guess because it is very bland at the moment like even the walls as you can see are just sort of yeah you can just imagine that it's been left like that um, from you know when it was first built um, so yeah there's, there's a lot of uh, possibilities with it if you guys wanted to download it as well I don't think I use a lot of CC here the only thing that I can remember is the curtains actually are CC but apart from that nothing else is so it's very very easy uh, for anyone to download and just replace you know little things like curtains and stuff uh, because everything else is uh, just a normal sort of game packs and uh, yeah, now we are onto the, the bathroom. Uh, you can of course see that I'm using a lot of black tones inside the home as well. Just, I thought it was a nice contrast to the really light wood tones that I'm using on the, on the floors. And you know, the walls are very light. So um, yeah, it was a really nice contrast. I loved it. There's no laundry in this home as well. Um, I didn't really have space to fit it in. But I also thought, you know, for him, I don't think it would make that much sense because he... I don't know, I feel like he would just go to a laundromat or something and do his laundry there. He wouldn't really bother having it in the home. Um, I feel like he doesn't just, yeah, he doesn't really look after the home much anyway. So uh, for this character, it didn't really make too much sense. Uh, oh, and the bedroom. Yes, this is where I add also like a little uh, punching bag and also the listening station or device. I don't know what it's called anymore, but you'll see it in a bit. It, it comes from Stranger Will. And I really love, you know, the fact that they added objects like that because even if you don't use it for Stranger Will, you can just use it, I guess, in different ways and kind of role play a little bit with it, you know. And uh, your your Sims can have, yeah, more secrets and <laughs> I don't know. It just it just adds a, a sort of fun element to the game, doesn't it? So um, I'm excited. I'm excited to play this sort of storyline with him. And see where what Jean gets up to in the neighborhood, you know, causing a bit of trouble. And yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Um, but yeah, so um, again, landscaping, I use the debug, just like in my other starter home. Um, for me, I just think, you know, you, of course you can leave the lot empty, uh, you know, without the landscaping. Because technically it's cheating, because I'm not paying for any of the, the plants or trees. But um But yeah, I just, I think it adds a lot of personality to the home. It makes it feel a bit more alive and not like it's just been sprung out of nowhere. Uh, I mean, which it has, don't get me wrong, but <laughs> uh, I don't know. I just, I love how it looks. So I did do some landscaping with the debug menu as well. Um, oh, and I added chess table here as well, actually. So I, I was thinking of what activities to add. Um, so I added, the, yeah, the bookcase and also a chess table because I think Jean um, is a bit more of a logical thinker. I don't know if he has a trait for it or something, but I remember that he, he wanted to kind of level up in that. So I thought, oh, why not? There was space left anyway. But um, yeah, I just I love how like weird it looks, you know, it just looks like it's not completed. It's it's just interesting. I don't know. I, I really love that. I love that about the home. Uh, the kitchen is a very very black, but I don't know. I guess it goes with the whole feeling of the of the home. Um, but yeah, I'm rambling on so much. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm just rambling on today. I don't know. I'm just so excited to to play this now. You know, like w watching the 
the build again. I, I can't wait to just get into it and leave my sims there. And yeah, I, I think through the gameplay, of course, we have to play the uh, sort of generation family. But I might have a few little um, uh, parts where I just, you know, visit the other kids like Jean, for example. I think that would be a lot of fun. But yeah, I'm going to leave it here, guys. The screenshots are coming up, so stick around to see them, uh, to also see the landscape come alive. But thank you so much for watching, everyone, and take care. And I'll see you tomorrow with the next uh, building. Bye.